morning. Chloe, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. How are Good. you? I'm great, thank you. How are you guys at home? I hope you're doing really, really well. Welcome back to another week of All Through History. We're very excited to have you. Today, we are continuing our judges. We've actually got our last judge. So this week, we are learning about Samson. And some of you might have heard of him before, and Samson was a very strong man, and we'll learn a lot more about him later. But first of all, I want you to answer this very simple question. But have a think. What does it mean to be strong? Hmm. So you could think, what does it mean to be strong? It can be physically strong or mentally strong. Why don't you turn to the person next to you and answer that question. What does it mean to be strong? Amazing. And so now we are going to do an action worship song. And so we are going to start by doing the song All Through History, which we've been doing all through this series. So hopefully you might know it by now. But if not, that's cool too. You could just dance along with us. So let's go, shall we? Yeah. Noah built the most enormous boat that kept the birds and animals afloat. The Lord was good, the Lord was strong, and Noah lived his life for him. Moses led his people through the sea, taking them away from slavery. The Lord was good, the Lord was strong, and Moses lived his life for him. away our sin so we could get to know our God again the Lord is good the Lord is strong and we will live our lives for him Great, I hope you're feeling all warmed up. I know we are. Um, so now we're going to have our story. And like I said, we are looking at a guy called Samson. And we are looking about how God made him strong. So watch this video, sit back, relax, and then we'll have a few questions afterwards to think about. This is Samson. Samson was a super strong Israelite judge, but not the kind of judge who sits in a courtroom and decides who's guilty and who's not. 
Being a judge meant Samson's job was to be a leader for the Israelites. Judges helped people with their problems and made big decisions. On top of being a judge, Samson was also the greatest warrior in all of Israel. He fought a lion with his bare hands, tore down city gates, and fought a thousand soldiers using just the jawbone of a donkey. Also, he had really long hair, but not just because he liked it. It was because God had said that if Samson ever cut his hair, his strength would go away. He wouldn't be super strong anymore. One day, Samson met a woman named Delilah, and he trusted her with the secret to his super strength. But turns out, he had trusted the wrong person because Delilah told Samson's secret to his enemies, the Philistines. Once they knew that, they cut off his hair and threw him in prison. And he stayed there for a while. In prison, Samson had time to talk to God and repent. And his hair had time to grow back. Later, the Philistines brought Samson out to make fun of him in front of a huge crowd at their temple. And then Samson reached out his arms and pushed over the temple with his bare hands, killing his enemies. Samson wasn't perfect. In fact, he made a lot of wrong choices, but God still used Samson to protect his people. And that's just a little bit about Samson. Wasn't that story amazing to hear all about how Samson was strong and how God made him strong? But we know that Samson had a weakness now, I want you to answer these questions. What made Samson strong? What was it that made him strong? And then what was his weakness? Answer those questions to the person next to you. And the answer was his hair. His hair had made him strong. God had given him this luscious hair that had given him some physical strength. And his weakness had been Delilah because he had caved in and told her all the secrets that made him strong. Now, I wonder what your weaknesses are. Maybe have a little thing. Maybe your weaknesses are sometimes you can be a bit grumpy. I know that I can be very grumpy when I'm really tired or hungry. Um, maybe you like to do lots of things that your parents tell you not to do. Or maybe you like to eat more chocolate than vegetables, which is fair enough to be honest, but we do need to eat some vegetables sometimes. So why don't you think about your weakness, talk to the person next to you about what you think your weakness might be. you've had a chance to think about things that maybe you're not so good at. But do you know what's something that's very, really exciting is that we don't have to be weak all the time. We can ask God to give us some strength to get through all of those tough times. So if you are struggling with maybe not being able to do your homework, that's something that's not too good at, we can ask God to help you to get through the day and to, to get through, give us the strength to get through the day. So this week, I want you to have a think about what you're struggling with at the moment. It might be homeschool learnings. I know that can be really, really tough. You're not around your friends. Um, you're seeing lots and lots of your parents and maybe your siblings, if you've got any. Um, but you can ask God to give you some strength to get through. So later on, we're gonna be doing some praying and it'll be amazing if you could just ask God to come into your life to give you strength, just like Samson did. Now, to help us remember this, we're going to learn a memory verse. And this memory verse is different from last week. So last week, we had, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. And that was saying, the Lord is with us. And again, we're remembering that God is with us, but we're remembering that he gives us strength. And so this Bible verse is from a book of the Bible called Psalms. And a Psalms is um, a book full of lots of different songs that someone has written. And... This verse goes, it is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. So it is God who arms me with strength, which means that he gives us strength and keeps my way secure. So he looks after us. So he helps us to be strong and he looks after us. And so we're going to have some actions to help us remember this. Yeah. Which is really exciting. So we're going to go, it is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. It's keeping us secure. 
So can you stand on your feet? And can we do that all together? So it is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. And that is from Psalm 18, verse 32. Should we do that one more time? It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. Psalms 18, verses 32. So as you go through this week, remember that God is arming you with strength and he's keeping you secure, even when you feel like, oh, everything's really weak and you don't feel like you have any strength at all. And now we're going to have a prayer and we're going to pray together. And um, so watch this video and we're going to be able to share a time with God. Hello, we've been learning about how God has given Samson some of his strength. And so we're going to do some strengthening exercises together whilst we pray and ask God to um, fill us up with his own strength. So jump on your feet. Don't worry, this isn't overwhelming. There's not too many things to do. We're just going to spend two or three minutes in God's presence whilst also using our bodies. So first we'll take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. We're going to do two poses um, and they're both called warrior poses. And last week we learned that we were mighty warriors. So embrace that, embrace being a warrior and being strong and remember to stay strong in all that we do. So the first one is warrior one pose. So you're going to get one leg that's a bit bent forwards and one leg straight in the back. And put our arms in the air and together we're going to say I am brave. Okay, so we need to think about being brave. In this pose, be really strong, be really centered. We're going to say together, I am brave. And now we're going to change our legs and we're going to pray about that. We're going to ask God to help us to be brave because it's really hard to be brave by yourself. With God, we can do that. So change your legs, arms in the air. And then say a prayer. I'm going to say a prayer. You can pray along with me or you can say your own. Dear God, I pray that you will help us to be brave when we need courage this week. When we're feeling scared, Lord, fill us up with your Holy Spirit so we can feel brave and ready to go. Amen. Amen. And the next one is Warrior 2 pose. So again, we've been warriors, we're feeling centred. And we're going to put our legs a bit out a bit wide this time. We're going to face the front this time. Our arms are going out like this. One leg is bent, one leg is straight. We're going to hold this pose like this, warriors. And together we're going to say, I am strong. You ready? I am strong. Excellent, hold that there. And then we're going to change our weight to the other leg. And we're going to pray about that. We're going to ask for God's strength. So just focus on God being in the room with you. Dear God, we just thank you that you are with us. Thank you that you are strong. And we pray that you give us strength this week. When we feel tired, when we feel lonely, help us to know that you are with us. Amen. Amen. So that was a very short time of prayer, which is one way that we can um, engage with God and with our bodies as well. Oh, lovely. And so now we are going to have a little fun playing a game. So I hope you're ready. It's time to get up, get ready to go, because we are going to be doing a scavenger hunt. And I'm excited. It's going to be great. So what we're going to do, I am going to give you a few different colors, and you have to run around and see if you can find something in those colors. And you will have about 10 seconds to try and find something. So I hope you're getting ready around the room thinking Ooh, trying to think of ideas all right so first up I would like you to try and find me something blue oh Nicole's found something how are you guys doing at home let's try our next item so now let's try and see if we can find something red. Oh, <laughs> Nicole's gone big and brought a table. All right, next we are gonna look for something yellow. Yeah, that's got a bit of 
yellow? I think that counts. <laughs> All right, let's do one more. And this time, let's look and see if we can find something pink. That was fun. I wonder what you guys found. And maybe you can play it again at home with different colours and yeah. you can be even quicker. See how quick you can go. Try and beat your beat your mums and dads and your siblings. That'd be great. Woo! That was super fun. Now we've got a craft, which is so exciting. So in your packs you have a craft, and Chloe's gonna show us what this craft is, and it's all about Samson, because obviously that's who we've learned about today. Mm. So this week we've got a few different things going on, Nicole. Ooh. So, da, 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 da. everyone will have one of these fun little Samson puppets. Ooh. He's looking to super make, strong. He's got he's no hair. Super strong, a lack of hair. But you can always add hair. I think you should add hair. I think maybe get some, like, pasta or something. Or, Ooh, or yeah. some or string. Draw someone with paper and stick or, that on, too. Or draw someone. Whatever That's you a great feel shout. like. Give him pink hair. And Good then... Time. For the older ones, we have a fun little paper chain. Ooh. Yours will probably be longer. I ran out of time, so this is all <laughs> we've got. Amazing. What does it say on this chain, Chloe? Oh, it says all oh, different words all about Samson. Ah, so so got... you can have a read as well whilst you're crafting. Lovely. Lots of different truths about Samson. Samson was a judge for 20, 20 years. Crikey. Uh, Samson's strength was in his hair, which we learned about earlier, didn't we? We did. Um, what else is fun on there? Samson loved Delilah. Oh. Lovely. Well, guys, I really hope you have fun with your crafts. Um, it will be really, really exciting to see some of them. So feel free to send them through. Or when we come to deliver the packs, feel free to go and grab them and show us what you've made last week. We would absolutely love that. Now we're going to have our final action worship song. And Chloe's going to introduce us to a new song. Which Woo-hoo. is super exciting. Over to you, Chloe. Yeah. So this song is a song and it's called Creator God. It's great fun and it's all about God who made everything in the whole world, including us. Great. Okay, so since this is a new song, we're just going to have a quick run through of the chorus so that you have a vague idea of what's going on. So chorus starts with Creator God. You made everything that I can see. Creator God. You made the universe and even little me. And it just repeats like that. So, should we give it a go? Yeah, let's give it a try. Bottom of the oceans and the stars in the sky The fish that swim and the birds that fly You made the darkest night and the brightest day The moon and the sun so far away Creator God You made everything that I can see Creator God You made the universe 
should get that new song. Maybe we'll do it again next week so we can learn it. We might need a bit, a bit of practice, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And I um, hope we get, get some good uh, squats good. going on there yeah. with your little me. It's good work. Who needs Joe Wicks when you've got waving kids somehow, right? So thanks, everybody, for coming. That is the end. Um, we're going to be back again next week looking at Ruth, which is very exciting about how God is faithful. Um, but it's been such a great morning spending time with you, learning about how God can give us strength and how we can look to him even in our weaknesses. Um, so, guys, I'm going to pray and then we're going to finish off. And then you can do your crafts while um, woven service is happening at 10.30. And um, it would be really great to be able to see what you've been doing during the week. So please do send in videos or pictures um, or just get in touch in any way. We'd love to be able to support you and to um, just hear how you're getting on. So we're going to pray. So I'm going to close your eyes. Um, Dear God, thank you so much that you give us strength. Thank you that you look after us and um, you want us to be able to see how amazing you are. So Lord, I just want to pray that this week, when we feel weak and tired, that you lift us up with your amazing strength. Amen. 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 So bye, everybody. We'll see you next week. Have a lovely week. See ya. Bye.